Okay, so with vegan gains is deleted from YouTube. That's how much sugar I have in my ice cream here. This is so good ice cream. Uh, sponsored, not sponsored. So good. This is an Australian company and they sanitarium. Seven Day Adventist, they do really, really good ice cream. So if you're ever in Australia, come and try out a so good vanilla ice cream. I put I add a little bit extra sugar because I like it extra sweet, but that's a really good one there. Very, very low fat for the whole thing. Uh, we got uh, 10... You got 15 grams of fat in one whole tub of ice cream, so not a lot of fat there at all, and no, no, uh, no estrogen, no dairy estrogen in there either. So what you want, you would have a Bruce Lee physique, not a tubby physique. Anyway, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of this video. I might just do a jump cut. I'm not sure if this microphone is actually working. Let's find out. Ah, uh, so apparently vegan gains has been deleted. Let's just confirm this. Let's confirm, I'll go into YouTube, vegan gains. Um, no, it's deleted, it is done. Vegan gains is no more. Um, there's a lot of videos about it, what will vegan gains do for money now? Um, will his wife leave him? Um, is she just a social client? All these sorts of stuff, all, this, all sorts of stuff. Um, what do I think? Uh, what what do I think? Um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what do I think? Um, I'm just I'm just scrolling through here, the the vegan gains. So yeah, I would say that um, yeah. I, 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 okay, I'm I'm. This video could be a long one. I'll try and keep it short. But I per, I know Richard personally. I created. Vegan gains. I helped him get on YouTube, gave him his channel name, helped him with copyright issues, gave him video titles, thumbnail ideas, you know, the fake natty, worst of the fitness industry. That was all my creation. And Richard was a very, very creative guy. He's a very creative guy. And so it, as a YouTube creator myself for 10 years, I don't like seeing when people's channels get deleted, especially when they put a lot of you know uh, creativity into it, you know. It, it, Richard wasn't just like some troll channel. Like, I've got a stalker who's got 110 or 150 videos about me. He released a video over 12, 12 hours. For me, that's a that's a violation of the YouTube platform. Yeah, that sort of channel should go. Then it probably will, whatever. But someone like Richard, you go after people, you know, fake natty stuff and just call it out. That's that's part of the community. You know, he's contributing there, stuff like that. So I, he, I don't think he should have been deleted, you know. Uh, some of the content he, he'd put up should definitely be deleted. It just wasn't doing the vegan community any service whatsoever. Uh, Richard did a lot of nasty videos about me, really, just really, you know, bad videos. And I've got a really thick skin, very thick skin. I've probably got the thickest skin on the internet outside of Donald Trump. I've probably got the thickest skin of any social media person out there uh, whose job is social media. Uh, so when I say that the content Richard would make about me, the lies and the just the dodgy stuff and just twisting things. That that wasn't nice. And I've got a very thick skin. I'm, I'm definitely open to criticism. And I even said to Richard, hey, let's do a live debate. Let's do a live debate. And he always backed out of that. And I was like, come on, man. That's That, that, that means you've got no integrity. If you won't do a live debate with someone that you're critiquing and making up bullshit about, that's, that's fucked. That's really, really poor. So, And some of the, all those other trolls, you know, they, they never would, never, ever, ever, would turn up to a live debate with Duran Rana, ever. They just always just run off. And that speaks volumes. When you can no longer hide behind script and jump cuts when it's just live and you won't debate, that's poor. So anyway, Richard, he didn't do the live debate. So when he when he kept backing out of that, I did lose pretty much all my respect for him. Because like, well, it's okay to have your opinion, but let's debate. Let's put it all out there. Let's have a real mano a mano discussion for the whole world to see. And when he backed out of that, I was like, man, this guy isn't who I thought he was. And I'm all, I'm all for people to give me criticism or whatever. But do a debate, you know, do a debate about it. If you're going to say something about me or whatever, then just, just debate it. Let's put it all out on the table, you know, let's put it all on the table. Because he didn't do that. So that I lost my respect there. I don't feel, though, that his channel should have been terminated. I feel that some of the videos definitely taken out. But he did put up some fun sort of content for people who like video games uh, personally, I never got anything out of his 
videos, I guess, because I was telling them what videos to make, you know, I was just sort of, I was like the puppeteer up here, and Richard was the sort of the puppet, like doing, you know, fake natty videos and critiquing, um, you know, all, all those <laughs> all those fake natties, and it was fun, man, it, that was some fun times, you know, I really enjoyed it, I was like, do this guy next, and talk about this, and talk about that, and Richard was very comp uh, compliant, and he would do those videos, and I told him to do the, the, uh, the bicep, because I said, you look, you look very skinny, in that black shirt he always used to wear. So he'd go to do like, you know, flex the guns, bro, gun show, you know, and he started doing that. So that was like a trademark, you know, during a vegan gain sort of pose there. So I don't think he should have got deleted. I hope his channel does come back, but I also hope that he only puts up content that's actually going to help vegans out there who are trying to find the movement. Because people would come across my content and then they search around and then they could probably come across one of the vegan gains during a worse the fitness industry, you know, whatever, you know. And then they're like, what? Sugar's bad? Oh, Oh, and then they try and live on fucking brown rice and broccoli. And they last vegan for a week, you know? Or then they're like, oh, sugar's bad, but donuts are good because they're going to eat donuts, you know? And then, they're, and then they're all confused. Or magic mushrooms are good because Rich said that, uh, blah, blah, blah. But fruit bananas are bad, you know? So then that, that, was, well, that was really, that didn't affect my quality of life. People making videos about me doesn't affect my quality of life. I still have all the money, I've got more money, I can shut everything down today and have all the money I ever need for the rest of my life. My quality of life is never impacted by pro or con videos about me on the internet, yay or nay during other videos. My quality of life is not affected by any of that. I've got my health, I've got my lifestyle, I've got everything I ever wanted in life. I have it all here today. So if someone makes a video, during writers this or during writers that, during writers great, during writers Satan, during writers God, you know, I love the support's really great. It builds the community, builds the vibe for sure. That's fantastic, but it doesn't affect my quality of life because I'm secure in who I am. I know who I am. You know, I know all the whatever. So what happens though is it does affect the quality of life of the people out there in the who are new vegans. They're on YouTube. They're like, oh my god, doing is like God doing. Oh my god, doing right says this. What blah blah what sugar's bad. Sugar, oh, what you know, doing right killed someone or what? You chop them up in the basement or you know, just, so you have all these things out there that affect the quality of life of people out there who are trying to be vegan. And then they're like, oh, the vegan guys, the vegan world's crazy. There's all this infighting and stuff like that, you know? And so then that just erodes the vegan strength massively. That's not vegan gains, that's vegan vegan drains. So my quality of life gains, so you can make all your troll videos about me or whatever, get your hits, get your Patreon donations, get your AdSense money. It doesn't affect the quality of my life. All it does is it makes less vegans out there because new vegans come on there and then when they see their hero getting slugged down by some fake slander videos designed to sell ebooks or get patreon adsense coin then they just oh wow you know it's like when lance armstrong you know or not even lance but just you know it, it doesn't help the ve the new vegans out there it doesn't affect me whatsoever but it does affect the new vegans out there so before we make a video about there if, ve if vegan games doesn't get his channel back bro 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 you're representing the vegan, you know, name out there. So do your best. I mean, I, I'm I'm one to speak because I've definitely made some fuck ups on social media, massive fuck ups. I wish I could take my time back and never talk about uh, that domestic violence setup or never talk about. Oh, that was that was the only one really, where this girl got you know attacked and I said my bit trying to you know, help her change her state and then people took it out of context and just did a little screenshot and just twisted it out. Oh, that was the dumbest thing I ever did. Or trying to help that uh, that teenage girl who came to a festival a few years ago, and then they all twisted it and ganged up and blew it out of proportion. You know, I should have just said, contact the police, let them let them help you. That's what they paid to do. I, I big mistakes there. So I've learned my lesson. So I'm I can speak from personal experience. You know, I can speak from personal experience, and I'll probably make many more mistakes. Um, that's part of life. Part of life. Part of being an adult is acknowledging mistakes, learning from them, and doing your best not to make them again. This is part of the life, part of growing. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years now, over 5,000 videos, vegan videos. I've got other viral channels, snakes, cobras, sharks, that most of you don't even know exist. Done a lot of videos, done a lot of mistakes uh, in life, in real life, not just on YouTube, but in real life as well. So Vegan Gains, if he gets his channel back, I hope he does get it back, and but I hope he also has a new vision and, of inspiration to show people, you know, how to really dominate a lifestyle. That's when I saw Richard, I was like, hey, create a YouTube channel. You know, you got some passion there. I saw this like, you know, lonely sort of kid living in his mum's basement. And I'm like, you know, how can I give some purpose to a, a young 
man's life living in Canada, you know, who who has some sense of humor and some creativities, but they're not going anywhere. So, so I groomed him up on YouTube, showed him how much money I was making, do all that stuff, really was giving him shout outs. I'm like, let's give this kid a boost, you know, let's get him going. And we did, and I did. You know, he became quite successful, and then he went a little bit pretentious and turned and jumped on the hate train, except for to get more hits. So we saw that, we saw sort of who he was as an individual, but still though, you know, my goal isn't to make friends, my goal is to spread the vegan message out there far and wide, and also a sustainable vegan message. So when you demonize rice or sugar or fruit, then you really cap how successful people can be on the vegan lifestyle. Because then what the fuck are they going to eat? They can't eat fruit, they can't eat sugar, they can't eat white rice, they can eat brown rice and some fucking edamame beans. And people are going to last 0.4 days on that lifestyle. You know, Even me, who's like 18 year vegan, incredible discipline, I'm going to make my lifestyle work for me. I'm going to have enough calories. Otherwise, this is like your performance is going downhill straight away. So I hope Richard gets his channel back. I hope he has a new vision for the future. I hope he continues to create inspiring content and not content that's just total fucking clickbait in a bad way. You know, clickbait's the internet. Everyone clickbaits to some degree, but when you're clickbaiting just to like, you know, make this possible, uh, make the slice of the pie bigger for yourself versus bigger for everyone, then that's that's wrong. My goal is always to create a massive online community where people make a lot of money and create a lot of impact and income and positive change, and I've done that. Some people have abused that generosity, tried to take me out or whatever, tried to bite the hand that feeds them, um, and karma came to scrap them up but and continues to do so. Karma is karma. It's always cruising around. Always cruising around. But... uh yeah, so that's, that's what I can say about Big Hope he gets the channel back. Um, I understand why YouTube did delete his stuff. His content was pretty, you know, some of the videos he made were definite violations, definite violations of YouTube TOS, Terms of Service. So it is very, very hard to get your channel deleted. You have to really push the buttons of someone up out there. So it's possible though. Um, but yeah, I hope he gets it back and I hope he learns from it and I hope he fucking uses the platform for good. Anyway, that's my thoughts, comments, and criticisms. Vegan Games deleted. Um, wow.